This isn't just another laser machine. It's one of the most powerful machines in the world. Built with advanced multi-diode laser technology, it delivers exceptional strength and precision that sets it apart from the rest. Watch how effortlessly it handles high-precision engraving, smooth acrylic cutting, and even clean marking on metal surfaces. It's not just about looks, this machine has been pushed to real limits under real conditions. Power, performance, and speed, every element has been pushed to its maximum potential. This is what next-level laser engineering truly looks like. Whether it's for creators, professionals, or industries, this is where raw power meets intelligent design. So let's unbox this powerful laser machine and see what it's made of. As soon as you open the main packaging of the laser machine, you'll find multiple smaller boxes inside. And now it's time to assemble them. The good news is, along with the machine you also get a detailed user manual that guides you through each step of the setup process with clear instructions. And if you're someone who prefers learning visually, there's no need to worry. There are plenty of assembly tutorial videos available on YouTube specific to this model. The laser module is the core of the machine and one of its most powerful components. Its quality directly impacts the cutting precision, Included in the box is a pair of safety glasses, an essential accessory that protects your eyes from the intense laser beam during cutting or engraving. Alongside that, you get a set of important tools. You'll also find a memory card, which includes small yet crucial items like assembly tools to help you easily tighten bolts, and of course powering all of this is a reliable power adapter. Let's begin assembling this machine. The company has provided a detailed user manual and will be following it step by step to make sure every part is correctly installed. All the components and tools required for assembly are included in the package, which is great. It's not extremely difficult, but yes, it can feel a bit tricky and time consuming. Friends, one of the key components of this setup is the laser module key, which you can adjust according to your needs or the type of material you're working with. Once that was done, I connected the adapter and turned on the power switch. Now our laser machine is fully assembled. Now let's unbox the rotary roller that came with the laser machine. As you can see, it also comes with a user manual, which explains the assembly process in detail. The manual provides clear guidance on how to put the air assist together, and overall it's pretty easy to assemble if you follow the steps correctly. The next step is assembling the rotary roller, a very useful tool for engraving on cylindrical objects like bottles, cups, and more. To assemble the rotary roller, we receive a set of essential tools inside the box itself. These tools are specially provided to help us fix and align all the roller parts properly. The entire setup is now ready for testing. So now, let's move on to the testing part. For this demonstration, I've taken a 20mm thick piece of pine wood. What's truly impressive is how effortlessly it managed to cut through the wood. In just a single pass, the laser cleanly sliced through the pine wood. It was a 4mm wood sheet, cut cleanly in just one pass. After that, friends, I decided to design a custom wooden clock. And let me tell you what, it took much more time in cutting than I had expected. For the clock numbers, I used acrylic material and the cutting quality was just outstanding, and the final results had a really premium look. You can also see that I did some creative carving work on acrylic. The smoothness of the acrylic surface made the carving look even more polished and professional. Alongside that, I also tested the machine on wooden material, performing both cutting and engraving. This is a not impressive result of this machine. I felt that the engraving on the wood wasn't as striking as I had hoped. I tried engraving on a mobile leather cover, but honestly, I didn't find the result very impressive. I tried using a rotary roller. The rotary roller is generally used for engraving on cylindrical objects like bottles, cups, or glasses. The engraving didn't stand out much, and I felt there's still room for improvement in terms of alignment and depth. But that's the beauty of learning. Every trial teaches you something new. Now, I'd really love to hear your opinion. What do you think about this laser machine and its performance so far? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye, take care, and love you all.